Hello everyone. Welcome to C Academy YouTube channel. My name is Velile Ngosi. In this lesson, we do introduction to DNA, a code of life. We will focus on a location of a DNA and the structure of, of the DNA. Before we start with the topic of today, I would like us to go back and do some revision about the structures of a cell. The structure that you see on your screen is an animal cell, it's a structure of an animal cell. In grade 10, we did plant cell and the animal cell. But in grade 12, we will focus only on a certain part of a cell. So the part that we'll be focusing on is cytoplasm, ribosomes, and the nucleus. So to remind you about cytoplasm, a cytoplasm is a gel-like fluid substance in which the organelle of the cell are suspended. And then another thing that the cytoplasm do, cytoplasm facilitate the movement of the organelles in the cell. So cytoplasm is the space, this yellow part you see inside the cell. This yellow part, it's cytoplasm. So the part of the cell are suspended on the cytoplasm. It's a fluid-like substance. So, and then another thing, to remind you it's ribosomes ribosome is a small organelle found both re in the cytoplasm and attached to endoplasmic radiculum so ribosome are this small black dot that you see let me this black dot that you see we call them ribosome and this part that is surrounding the nucleus is called endoplasmic reticulum so if you can see around the nucleus there's a lot of ribosome it's more concentrated around the nucleus and we've got some ribosome far away from the nucleus that is where protein synthesis is happening maybe somewhere so this is the thing again that we will be focusing on in the chapter of the dna a code of life and then another thing that we must know or that we will be focusing on is the nucleus. So a nucleus houses the cell's genetic materials, which is DNA in the form of chromosome. So inside the nucleus, there is a DNA, which is part of our topic today, which is something that we will be talking about today, the DNA. So structurally, a nucleus is enclosed with double membrane and then nucleus has a pore for selective transport and then nucleus has a region called the nucleolus which specializes in ribosome production and then again dna is packed with protein into chromatin inside the nucleus so to show you the structure of a nucleus this is the structure of a nucleus the double membrane that they are talking about is this one, which is, we call it a nuclear envelope. Nuclear envelope is double membrane. There is inner membrane and the outer membrane. And then there is this pore, which we call it a nuclear pore. A nuclear pore is where ribosomes and mRNA, they use this route to, to, to exit the the nucleus and then it's like a gate it's where things are getting in or getting out we call it a nucleopores and then again we've got a nucleolus nucleolus like they say is where it, it produces ribosome so the ribosomes are produced in the nucleolus then move out of the nucleus via nucleopore and then we've got again nucleoplasm nucleoplasm is a fluid like substance that fills the nucleus it's a plasm like a cytoplasm which is a fluid like substance and then we've got chromatin network chromatin network is it's a it's, 
a form of a DNA. So this is the structure of that nucleus. And then if we zoom this part, you see this red part, and then we're going to see something like this, which is these DNAs are wrapping around histone. Histone is a form of protein. The function of a histone is to help to condense the DNA into chromatin. So what do you see here? It's a DNA which is wrapped around the histone protein. Yeah, it's histone is a, is a form of protein. And then when we zoom here, you see something. This is the double helix DNA. This is the form of DNA. Most of the time, DNA is, 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 is in this form. So since you, now you know how we find DNA inside the cell, then we can start with what we are here for. First, let's start with the structure of a nucleic acid. So there are two types of nucleic acid. One, we've got DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Then this is, is for today. Today we will talk about DNA. I will show you the, the full structure of a DNA. And then another type of nucleic acid is RNA. RNA is ribonucleic acid. So we will do a video about RNA next. And then this nucleic acid, they consist of a monomer or a building block called nucleotides. So both DNA and RNA are built from nucleotides. So this is the structure of a nucleotide. If you take this structure and pack them together, like maybe thousand to millions, you will end up having nucleic acid. So you'll end up having either DNA or RNA. And then nucleotide contains three components. Components number one contains phosphate group. Like this is the phosphate group, this part, and then contains sugar molecule. The sugar molecule is, is this metal part. So phosphate is bond to the sugar molecule. And then we've got nitrogenous base. And then nitrogenous base is also bond to the sugar molecule. So phosphate is bond to the sugar molecule and nitrogenous base is also on to the sugar molecule so if you pack these things together you end up having either dna or rna then i will talk about this uh, in a moment so now another thing that we, we must know will, is the location of a dna dna is found in two locations in a cell one dna is mostly found in the nucleus and the dna that is found in the nucleus we call it a nuclear dna and then again a small amount is found outside the nucleus then the one that is found outside the nucleus is called extra nuclear dna so you must know the difference we've got a nuclear dna and extra nuclear dna and there are two types of extra nuclear dna we've got chloroplastic dna this one is only found in a chloroplast so it's only exist in a plant cell because you remember animal cells do not have a chloroplast so this dna maybe helps with photosynthesis then we've got mitochondrial dna which is found in a mitochondria so this one helps with help mitochondria with its function so more especially to help with energy production so this is the, the the locations where we find dna find in a nucleus in a chloroplast and in a mitochondria and that these two dnas are called extra nuclear dnas and then to move forward now we will talk about the structure of the dna so dna has a double helix structure so by double helix structure they talk about this structure like if you can see we've got this strut here if you can see it's helix it's more like a spring it's twisting 
and then because they are double we've got two which are twisting around each other so dna most of the time is in this form is you have two strands which are twisting around each other so that is why here they say dna has a double helix structure and then dna consists of a monomer called nucleotide which link to form a long chain called polymer so here let me show you something that is i think is important here this is the dna nucleotides and then the dna nucleotides is also contained phosphate group sugar molecule and then nitrogenous base the sugar molecule of of a dna is called deoxyribo sugar there are four nitrogenous bases in a dna nucleotide we've got adenine we've got guanine we've got thymine we've got cytosine so there are four only four sometimes you can represent them with a adenine t for thymine g for guanine and c for cytosine so the if you pack these things together like this structure here if you can see we've got and uh, to draw it for you we've got the nucleotide here this is a nucleotide and then the, the nitrogenous base of this nucleotide is thermine then we've got another nucleotide, nucleotide here We've got another nucleotide here which and then the nitrogenous base of this nucleotide is guanine and then again and again and again and again so if you put these things together you end that up with dna so this is what this this the statement is telling us about and then each dna nucleotide contain the sugar which is called the oxyribose Yes, this is what I've just shown you. The sugar that is in a DNA nucleotide contains deoxyribose sugar. This is very important. Most of the time it pop up in multiple choice on one term. So you must know that the sugar that you find on a DNA molecule is called deoxyribose sugar. So it's also very, very, very important. You must know it. And then another thing about the structure of a DNA, there are two groups of nitrogenous bases, which is purines and pyrimidines. So here yeah, what they, they are talking about nitrogenous bases of a DNA molecule. So the bases are adenine, guanine, and thymine and cytosine. So adenine and guanine, they are grouped to be purines so and then thymine and cytosine they are grouped to be pyrimidines so to know which one is which you can use y if you can see pyrimidine there is y here and then thymine also has a y here while cytosine also has a y here so these two they they have y so they they fall under pyrimidines so that means these other two they fall under purines so another thing about the structure of the dna the nitrogenous bases are complementary meaning that adenine pairs with thymine only while cytosine pairs with guanine only if you can see here we've got t and here we've got a so thymine like they say it only pairs with adenine while guanine only pairs with cytosine it's like a magnet positive attract negative and then negative attract positive so there is no way that you will find guanine attracting adenine so that one will never will never happen so this is how they 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 bond a always bond with t 
while cytosine always bond with guanine. And then the last thing about the structure of the DNA, the two struts are held together by weak hydrogen bond. So when they talk about strut, like this this shape here, strut is this this part. This part is called strut. So in between this nucleotide, there is a weak hydrogen bond, like here. They say weak hydrogen bonds here. So we've got the weak hydrogen bond in between A and T, and then we've got weak hydrogen bond between C and G. And then the, the hydrogen bond between cytosine and guanine, there are three bonds, while between adenine and thymine, there are only two bonds. So this one is also important. You must know there are three bonds here and then here there are, I mean here there are two bonds and then here there are three bonds. So this is the structure of, of the of a DNA. You must know that the sugar is the oxyribose sugar and then contains phosphate group and then, then nitrogenous bases is either adenine or thymine or guanine or cytosine they are only four you will never find another one they are only four so they are used to to code it's they are used to give us the information about something so a could be a here if it's a here this side is going to be t if it's g here this side is c all the time so you must know this is the structure of a dna you must know how to explain it you must know how to draw it then because sometimes they might ask you to draw and label the structure of a DNA. Sometimes they draw and then they don't lab label the, they might label A here. And then they ask you, what is the name of this nitrogenous space? You must know that A always bond with time. So this is all the lesson for today. That is all for today. So everyone who is studying i say good luck with your studies god bless you